aware about a broken supply chain and even a shortage of goods. So if you do much grocery shopping, you already know that rising prices are a big issue as well. Yeah, it's a real thing. And some people have asked Krem too, is Tom's Turkey Drive even able to happen this year because of all of that? And really the answer is yes. And it's because of the generosity of our farmers, businesses, and you, our donors. So Krem 2's Laura Papetti caught up with one recipient of last year's drive. While businesses shut down and schools closed last year, nothing was certain. But there were traditions that survived in the midst of the pandemic. Creme 2's Tom's Turkey Drive was one of them. Thanksgiving last year was very different because I was alone. Before the pandemic, Thanksgiving was huge with lots of people, lots of friends, lots of family, games and beverages and lots of food, lots of great food. Morgan Gabriel was one of the people in this lineup of cars at Tom's Turkey Drive Distribution. The waving volunteers and the big box of food were her holiday companions last year. This year, we went to where she lives to ask about the upcoming holiday. Things are getting back to normal a little bit. This Thanksgiving, I get to be with a little bit more friends and family than being alone last year. While Gabriel says the vaccine has made her feel safer about gathering, she was worried that current economic conditions would put a damper on the annual holiday tradition that provides 11,000 meals to area families. I was also very worried this year because of the shortage of turkeys and the shortage of semi-truck drivers. While the news of trucking shortages, broken supply chains and rising food prices continues to be at the forefront, Tom's Turkey Drive partners have worked behind the scenes to secure the food needed to pack the 40-pound boxes. We worked with Rose Hours and Krim to order the turkeys, which is the central part, in January. While Rose Hours ordered the turkeys, France worked through multiple issues to donate 22,000 bags of product. The Northwest Bakery is donating 11,000 bags of stuffing mix and the same amount of rolls. And dairy farmers who are dealing with the rising cost of feed, drought, along with the ongoing pandemic, are delivering 11,000 half gallons of milk. One of the most requested items at local food banks will be in the Tom's Turkey Drive boxes. Regional farmers have also donated potatoes and apples to provide fresh produce. While so much food was donated, certain shortages are having an impact. Yams are hard to come by, so the usual canned side dish is being replaced by other canned vegetables. Tom's Turkey Drive will go on, and it's our goal to make sure that people like Gabriel can celebrate this year and share the traditional meal that's meant to bring families together. Tom's Turkey Drive is a blessing. I am so happy that over 11,000 families are getting served. And man, it's such a great thing. And like she said, it is a blessing to be able to help provide 11,000 families a Thanksgiving meal. Yes, and it's really a way that, you know, we can step up and help our neighbors. You know, we don't know what people are going through yeah. right now. It's been so um, a challenging couple of years mm -hmm. with job loss and a lot of change. And so, you know, anything you can do to help our neighbors right now makes a big difference. So again, there are ways you can still help out. Yeah. You were at Starbucks and yeah. there's still ways to help even Absolutely. though the, our Starbucks event is over. Absolutely. The Starbucks thing is going on all week long. It's 31 area Starbucks locations. All you have to do is scan the QR code that you have there on your right cup here. and you can donate any amount of money that you like. Yes, that's right. And then you can visit Area Rosars as well. We'll tell you much more about it coming up on CW22.